Welcome back, everybody. We got more Shane Gillis. First one we did was the Special Olympics from Shane Gillis, yes. which was very funny. And that's mm -hmm. why we're back doing a little bit more from him. We're doing Trump versus Biden. Yeah, it's a different, uh, <laughs> different stream of topic this time. Yeah, I'm interested. I've heard, I think he was on SNL or something like that before, and he did Trump impressions. <laughs> and he apparently is really good at them. I haven't seen them before. But, I'm excited. But um, I don't think he's, I don't know. Actually, I shouldn't say uh, I have any bearings as where this is going to go. I don't think he's going to do a pre impressions. But maybe it'll, maybe, maybe it'll slip in there. I don't know. I'm I could be completely hope. wrong. I mean, I'm why would you? I'm hope. <laughs> and, uh, you know, as far as the political spectrum is concerned, we are uh, grew up in Canada and uh, we don't live can in Canada or the United States at this point. So um, no political bias from us here yeah. in this one. Just entertainment. Um, just all entertainment. So we're excited to see uh, who's going to get chirped the most. I assume <laughs> both of them. And I think there's a lot of material you could chirp both of them 100%. with. So um, you ready to check out some Shane Gillis? I am. Let's do it. Let's go. Dudes with Down syndrome <laughs> love women so much that like, I've never been a believer of being gay is a choice, but I will say every dude I know that can't think fucking loves pussy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> I guess it's a keeper. <laughs> All right, that's, that's the end of that. <laughs> that's where that should end. Look, I was talking earlier, I'm not, I'm not a Republican yet, but I will say, I just want to see, like for real, I don't care if they arrest him, if he loses the primary, I don't get, let him debate, dude. Let him debate. <laughs> All I want to see is him debate. Dude. Okay, Hannibal, yo, if he, if he gets arrested, Hannibal Lecter him out to the fuck, just bring him on stage. Here's my idea, final debate of the year. I have one Republican candidate, one Democrat. Be like, all right, fellas, surprise third guest tonight. <laughs> hey, fucking stone cold music, the glass shatters. <laughs> he walks out, just, they're both gay. <laughs> I mean, there see it how is. They handle that. I think it is actually important to see how the candidates handle that type of pressure of debating with Trump, dude, because so far none of them have been able to handle it. He literally, every debate, he just bullied whoever was up there. <laughs> the only one who did pretty good in the debates against him was Biden, just because he had no fucking idea what was being <laughs> said. <laughs> Which actually helped him, that worked out for him. Because Trump's whole thing is he tries to get in the other guy's head, dude. You can't get in Joe's head. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's not in there, good luck, dude. <laughs> Biden, Biden is Trump's kryptonite in a debate. He's literally perfect. <laughs> you can't beat him. Because Trump's whole, Trump tries to drag the other guy into like a shit talking contest where he will win. He will win at that. He can't get Biden. He tries. Every, every debate he's trying so hard, and Biden's just. <laughs> that face! Just, You're a loser. What? The face the he face? made for Joe Biden I is so it, accurate. I was looking at your face. Yeah. yeah. Biden, he tries. Every, every debate he's trying so hard, and Biden's just. <laughs> he tries. He just, you're a loser. <laughs> Your son did crack. And Biden just, what? <laughs> like, damn, dude, that's actually a pretty good comeback. <laughs> you might win this thing. Oh, I got tears I already. Miss, I miss the speeches with Trump. You remember that? We used to get we used to get five speeches a day. When he was in office. Anytime you turn on the TV, that guy was giving another fucking speech. <laughs> Live, dude. Be in front of a helicopter, scream, calling a lady a lesbian or something. Like, <laughs> this is going to be a tough one to defend at work. <laughs> but I'm gonna. <laughs> oh, Shane's hilarious. I just love his style of comedy. Yeah, me too. And his impressions are so good. Yeah, like you said, like as soon as you went to Trump, I was like, that's right it on. Sounded if I closed my eyes, I could think it was him. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Now it's sad. Now with Biden, we get like one speech every three months. And it's hard. He's like falls and shit. It's hard to watch. <laughs> it's sad. I'm rooting for the guy. Obviously, I want things to go well, but it's hard to watch him do anything. Anytime I watch Biden do anything, I get the same feeling as like, you ever go to a friend's house and they have like a 16-year-old dog and it walks in the room? <laughs> and you got to do that whole like, oh, hey, there he 
is. Just look at him, he's looking great. <laughs> My favorite thing about Biden is any anytime Biden finishes a speech, he transforms into a Roomba. Just... <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> I, miss it. I miss the Trump speeches. Trump gave what I think was probably one of the greatest speeches of world leaders given. You know, it's got to be up there with, like, Churchill. <laughs> Gettysburg Address. <laughs> Gettysburg Address. <laughs> anyway, for real, though, it was my favorite speech I've ever seen a president give. It was the night, it was the, night the United States killed the leader of ISIS, Trump comes out of the Situation Room at like midnight in the White House and he walks down that fucking tunnel like he's, and gives a press conference, like he's giving a post-game NBA <laughs> just killed a guy press conference. He walks up in front of the entire world at midnight and just goes, Abu Bakar al-Baghdadi is dead. He died like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. That's all him, dude. <laughs> I didn't change one word of that. That's what he opened with. <laughs> and then he did 40 minutes. The speech is 40 minutes for no reason. It wasn't a prepared speech. He freestyled 40 straight. <laughs> Not even a speech, just mean shit talk for 40 <laughs> The meanest shit talk you've ever heard in front of the whole world. Abu. We could hear him crying. I said, Abu, don't cry. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Abu cried, he cried quite a bit. I wouldn't have cried. <laughs> Cry baby back daddy, that's what we were all called. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's perfect. It's so good. I'm crying myself. So spot on. Yeah. Oh my God. If I close my eyes, like you said, that is Donald Trump. Yes. 100%. <laughs> oh, that's great. We could hear him crying. I said, Abu, don't cry. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Abu cried. He cried quite a bit. I wouldn't have cried. <laughs> I just closed my eyes. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> it's Donald. It's Donald speaking to us. Oh, holy frick. I'm All good. right, are you ready? Yeah, okay. You good? Yes, let's you go. Got, you gathered yourself? As have much you as I'm going to. As, well? uh, as much as I'm going to. <laughs> Cry baby back daddy, that's what we were all calling. <laughs> Look, I love everything about that speech. I love it. I love thinking about Trump in the situation room, surrounded by generals watching a live mil watching special forces, watching those cocksucking Navy SEALs. <laughs> those mother if I was in there, I'd be like, get out of that boo, run. <laughs> They're great lovers, don't let them get you. Ah, they got him. Ah, they're making him squirt. <laughs> no! No! How could you do this? <laughs> That's what we should do. Instead of, you know, instead of Zero Dark Thirty killing these guys, we should break in and have our special forces fucking whack them off in their own bed. <laughs> That sends a pretty serious message, dude. Can you imagine that? Just four Navy SEALs holding your arms and legs. You're the only dude without night vision. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> uh. That was so random. Queer. <laughs> fly away on a helicopter. You just got jerked off in your own bed. You fucking jerked me off! You make me do cum! You know what I mean? Oh, we got our <laughs> t-shirts. <laughs> this is a popular theme. These t-shirts come up on every single video. That like we every comedy one. Yeah. I, uh, no, I just love, I love, I love thinking about Trump in the Situation Room, watching a live military operation. He's the only dude in the room that wasn't military. 
He must have been the only dude watching it that was like, oh! <laughs> like, <laughs> you could tell he's never seen it before by the fucking speech. The speech sounded like a guy just trying to tell you some shit he saw. <laughs> just, a lot of guys would knock on the front door, not these guys, not our guys. <laughs> not our guys, our guys went through the wall, they blew up his wall. <laughs> and they used dogs, beautiful dogs. <laughs> Beautiful dogs is the funniest detail. Because it's true. They actually did use, it was the Army Rangers and they used dogs because they were afraid Al Baghdadi was going to be wearing a suicide vest. So they killed him with dogs and a robot. <laughs> and then made fun of him for crying. <laughs> Let that guy cry. That's the scariest death I've ever heard of. That dude was laying in his bed in the middle of the night. His wall exploded. Fucking 10 dogs and a robot. <laughs> Dude, 10 dogs wearing helmets and goggles broke into his house. <laughs> the Paw Patrol, the actual Paw Patrol. <laughs> All right, dude, you guys have been so great. Oh, oh that was God. hilarious. Yeah, that was great. Oh, man, that was one of my favorites for sure. I think there might have been like something specific in context about Navy SEALs that like kind of went over my head because mm. I don't know really know like what, like that was kind of random to me, that portion, but everything else I was. Oh, I think he was just saying like as a viewer from his perspective, Basing it on like a watching a reality TV uh, show, okay, he'd okay, be okay. rooting for the the villain to get away. Type true, 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 true. I think that's what he was saying, but could be wrong. You well, because he been... called the Navy SEALs sea suckers, yes, and then started referring to like, I guess, which would be like this guy getting jerked off in his own bed. So yeah, that's I, why I, I was a little I, bit confused. Anyways, but, anyways, yeah. Point is, is that it was very well done. <laughs> and best impression i've heard thus far uh, yeah 100 percent. like it's so on point <laughs> yes, for Trump. and I've, so much like just accuracy <laughs> yeah well i mean it, just the way he enunciates the words and the pauses and <laughs> the biden roomba thing i died uh, yeah no it was great and that's what i you know i like mostly too that he was able to take this topic which most people will probably find you know they'll be on one side versus the other um, unless you're, you know, in the middle, which I guess a lot of people are now, now it's kind of shifted, but I, I like that he was able to probably make this in a way that everybody, hopefully you guys do enjoy it, that everybody yeah. can enjoy it, uh, no matter what side of the fence that you're on, yeah. because, uh, you know, you should be able to find some humor in the ridiculousness that goes on in politics. Oh, hundred percent. Right? You know, it is, it's sometimes it really does feel like we're watching a, a reality TV show. With yeah. What's going on. And I don't think he was like overly like hating on either or making fun of either one no, of them was, or the other. It was pretty yeah. equal. Yeah. It was, uh, was just talking about the ludicrousness of yeah. everything. Yeah. And, um, I just really like his delivery how, because he doesn't, when he's doing the Trump impression, right? Like he doesn't sound anything like that when he's doing the comedic <laughs> stuff. So when he jumps into the Trump impression, it, it's like, Oh, like he's into his character immediately, and you're like picturing yeah. Trump saying that. Yeah. And then we switch his back to his comedic stand up. He's, you know, it's like, dude, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like just this regular everyday guy that's just really yeah. chill, right? Even those noises, like the noises he was making that Trump makes, I was yeah. dying. Yeah. And I like he's a young, he seems, he seems like he's a pretty young guy, too. Yeah. So I like, you know, his approach is a little bit different than maybe some of the older com I comedians. I would agree. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, He's I great. really, really enjoyed it. 10 out of 10 for me. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it as well. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed me dropping a few dogs. tears up here because uh, I couldn't keep them in. I was laughing too hard. Beautiful dogs. Yeah. <laughs> and if you did enjoy it, hit the like button. We got lots of comedy on the channel, lots of different comedians. So, make sure you subscribe, check out all this stuff. But that's it from us today, man. We'll be back with another one real soon. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.